Hey guys, Anger Monkey here. And Jackson Farrell from Hot Pile of Garbage. And since you guys missed out on this episode um, that we decided to not record, um, we... Yeah, we just played the game. Yeah, we, we just went through uh, <clears throat> Door 5, and that's really the only thing they missed. <laughs> it was just a bunch of dialogue in Door 5. Yeah, and so, the dead guy. Yeah, he splattered all over the wall. Yeah, he contributed a whole lot of dialogue. <laughs> ah! Uh, 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 oh, that's funny. Buckle in, everybody. It's time for another exciting episode of Clicking on Stuff. So, we're in the first class cabin and uh, searching for stuff. Yeah. All new puzzles. We got a score plate. A. Yeah. Score plate, eh? Just scored a sweet plate. Yeah. It took Junpei by <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Snake, usually so calm and collected, suddenly began to move. Well, I was standing still before, but now I'm actually moving. I'm pl I'm voicing Snake since this room is pretty much all Jackson characters, so I decided to take a character yep. from him for uh, a few episodes. He stared about the room almost frantically, clearly looking for something. I can't see because I'm blind. Is that you, Junpei? No, Junpei thought not staring. After all, he's blind. He must be listening. Blind or not, Snake was clearly attempting to do something. At last, Junpei could no longer contain his curiosity. What are you doing? Snake waited a moment before answering. I heard something strange. Something strange? Indeed. Oh, well, never mind. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. I don't wish to toot my own horn, but... <laughs> My auditory senses are considerably more advanced than those of most humans. <laughs> Do you find something funny about what I said, Junpei? No. I notice even the slightest of noises. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are, are you going to tell me you can hear a, a, a needle drop from a mile away? <laughs> huh. No, such a thing would be impossible, unlike that thought that you just unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> However, by listening to the sound of footsteps and breathing, and farting, <laughs> as well as sound echoing off the environment, I can locate most objects. Oh yeah, that's right. When Clover fell on the big staircase a little while ago, you were at her side immediately. So that was... Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I could hear it happening. In fact, I ran quite fast, certainly as fast as you. And should someone attempt to start a fight with me, I am quite confident that I could defeat them. Hmm. Junpei was somewhat taken aback by this revelation. Well, we got Daredevil on our hands here. Indeed. He stared at Snake, skeptical. You don't believe me, do you? I can see that you don't believe me. I can see that expression on your face. <laughs> Care to give me a try? I'm just imagining <laughs> Snake echolocating our faces. <laughs> just make it, that's what the hums are. That's him bouncing his sound oh, waves I, off our I re face to I remember, read our expression. I remember there was an episode of Avatar <laughs> Last Airbender. I don't know if you ever saw... The uh, Avatar: the Last Airbender. I've seen an episode or two, but um, there was an episode with Toph, who uh, was Earthbender. She's blind, mm -hmm. and um, her and Aang were trapped in some little cell or whatever. And um, and she says, "Let me down from here so I can uh, wipe that smirk right off your face." And the guy says, "I'm not smiling." <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I must warn you: you'll doubt, you'll no doubt regret it. Uh. Well, I suppose that's enough laying around. Let's resume our search, shall we? Hmm. With a small, self-satisfied smile, Snake turned and walked away from Junpei. Well, I guess there was no real reason to be worried about uh, Snake fending for himself when he disappeared from the group. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Fancy white desk. A white desk. Feels kind of fancy. What's this thing? Oh, just part of the lock. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's just stuff on the walls. 
What's this little doodad? Nothing. That is nothing. Okay. Door. Um, back sends me back through the door, right? Right. Okay. Here's another door into the bathroom. Well, the sink's clean. Any water? Nothing's coming out. We've got the faucet on all the way, but I can't hear anything. Probably for the best. I mean, there's plenty of water in yeah, other places. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got an entire D deck submerged in water, so. And there we are in the mirror. What a pair! A college kid and a terrifying giant of a man in a beanie. Stuck in a cramped bathroom with this beast of a man. What would my parents say? <laughs> They'd probably be wondering how I got myself kidnapped by a deranged, math-obsessed psycho. <laughs> hmm? Something wrong, Junpei? You looked real sad all of a sudden. Uh, no, nothing. The lights, huh? Nope, doesn't look like there's anything hidden there. Testing, testing. Hey, it's great to see you all here. I just flew in from New York, and boy, are my arms tired. Yes, thank you. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. That's not a mic, Seven. It's just a shower head. What? What the crud? <laughs> <laughs> so you had Santa who thought it was a mushroom growing out of the side of the wall, and Seven thinks it's a microphone. <laughs> So I guess Junpei's the only one that really knows what a shower head is because he's taken a shower once before. <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> I'm surrounded by smelly morons. Who are you calling smelly? Not not you, Snake. Of course not. Indeed, you're too refined for that nonsense. And also, you could probably kick my butt. Of course I can. It's good that you finally acknowledge that. This faucet must be for putting water in the bathtub. And there's the bathtub, there's the plug. There is a plug at the end of this chain. Let's see if I can pull it out. Whoa, hold up. Huh? I was just thinking, we might be able to use the water. Use the water? I uh, can't... Yeah, um... Can't pull the plug. At least not yet. Huh? This faucet is really hard to turn. Man, it doesn't matter how hard I yank on it, this thing won't budge. Heh, <laughs> hard for you to turn, kid? How about you let a man give it a shot? Give it to a real man. <laughs> this would be a terrible place for someone to fart. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it's in the bathroom. Freaking heck. Nothing. Might as well be a freaking rock. Looks like something's holding that knob in place. Well, if you can't do it, Seven, I guess we might as well give up. Or find a wrench. Get a little torque. Clearly, down. Seven isn't strong enough or smart enough to do the simplest of tasks. You want to give it a shot, Fancy Pants? I can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you close your eyes for his voice. <laughs> <laughs> Helps you get in character? Indeed. Although it is hard to read what's on the screen with my eyes closed, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Junpei, where are you going? Didn't we come out of that door? No point to going back there. All that's out there are a bunch of locked numbered doors and... A dead body, or what's left of it. Yeah. Don't want to mess with that. Yeah. Couple bites. It's a heavy piece of paper that's been folded in half. Hey, it Junpei, has. can you lift that piece of paper like you couldn't do the faucet? Yeah, I can, and if it's important enough to put into my inventory, I will. <laughs> the score we just found was probably in here, at least at some point. Uh, it's not important. It's certainly not the case that I can't lift it. I can. I don't believe you. Well, there, I just lifted it. See? No, I couldn't. Please well, I guess, refrain from the blind jokes. I guess they you'll are, just have to take my word for it. They are rather offensive. Oh, <laughs> stuck in a room with these two guys. Indeed, we are both guys. 
Well, I, I can say for myself, but I don't know. I cannot say for sure about you two, because I cannot see. Well, I guess we're just going to have to trust each other. Somebody spent a lot of time carving the legs of this chair. It'll snap like a twig if Seven sits on it, though. <laughs> Mind your own business. All muscle mass, I'm sure. <laughs> this is some sort of antique desk. Makes sense, though, I guess. This whole room's full of antiques. We could get a nice handful of cash for all the stuff in here. Hmm. Okay, Seven. Let's chair. Expensive looking, of course. This couch looks just big enough for three people. Looks perfect for me. What? Perfect for an elegant gentleman like myself. The couch looks a lot more elegant. <laughs> hey! There's something you aren't saying. Uh, never, never mind. I think... I think you are... Oh, uh, what, what what would be a good word for uh, a good insult for Snake to put on Seven? Yeah. What what would be something like? Uh, what was Jupe say? Something about it being fancier. Clearly, you are not fancy, Seven. Or something. I don't know. I got nothing right now. Darn right, I'm not fancy. What's going on in the fireplace? There's something in the back. Let's see if I can reach it just a little. Gosh darn it, that's hot. You aren't real smart, are you? Come you on. aren't that smart either, Seven. Oh, sure, you're the only you, smart one among us, I bet. You barely can remember your name right now. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. <laughs> of course it's going to be hot. It's a fire. Even a monkey knows it shouldn't stick its hand in a fire. Junpei is clearly dumber than a monkey. Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> Stick your hand in the fire as a monkey. You're gonna be one angry monkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got something on fire. We need, we need a to way get... to get a fireplace, huh? Don't see one of those too often. Aren't a lot of people these days with real fireplaces, real fires? That was kind of awkward. What? The way I said it. <laughs> what was <he> even saying? <laughs> Oh. Spontaneous voice acting. <laughs> I get it. You're gonna use this face, right? That's pretty clever, Junpei. I'm sorry, I just called you stupid. We just gotta fill this thing with water. Oh, let's check it out. Looks like a vase. Maybe you could use that. Uh, Transpute parent music score sheet. Apparently made from glass, it has a number of A notes on it. Yeah, that's just A notes. Mm hmm. That's why it said score plate A. Hmm. There once was a vase on this table. But not anymore. I can sing the score! Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, a couple more minutes. Okay, we'll poke around in this room. The back puts us back into the other room, so let's take a look in here. It's a toilet. This is my good friend John. <laughs> There's some toilet paper on the wall there. Well, that, that's good to know. There's, There's nothing that... <laughs> it's good to have toilet paper next to a toilet. Yeah, you're in trouble if it's not the case. Yeah. Okay. It's a toilet. Doesn't seem to be anything in the toilet or the tank. So what? Why? Why do we even bother coming into this room? If it's, there's nothing in there, <laughs> it's for verisimilitude. And here's our friend, the bathroom again. And this door sends us. Ah, it's the little loop. Um, back into the bedroom. Here's a mirror. It's totally a table with a mirror. Totally. Oh yes. You know that sort of thing is known as a vanity. Yes, you'd know all about vanity, wouldn't you, Snake? Of course, and in indeed. Were you aware of that, Junpei? Of course, vanity also refers to self-love, conceit, and narcissism. Hmm. As such, you could say that every day when a woman looks into one of these, 
She is staring at her own conceit and narcissism. Doesn't that strike you as terribly sad? Yeah. An antique vanity. I'm speaking of narcissist. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing in the drawer. Yep, totally empty. Oh, vanity of vanities. In the words of what Santa would say, totally. <laughs> <laughs> All is vanity. And here's... What's this? This isn't a score. Is this a map of the ship? A map? There's a map of the ship here? Yeah. Then I imagine it will prove very helpful. You'd best hold on to it, Junpei. Okay. It is now possible to use the map screen. Yay. Um, a music stand. Well, might as well put this glass plate on it. Oh, hmm. Is something wrong? It's kind of hard to see the notes. Maybe if I put something under them. Hmm. What background for the notes? I know, we'll use the vase as a background. <laughs> Smack me upside the head with it, that's stupid. <laughs> Piano keyboard. What is Snake doing? He can't play, can he? This piano, there is something amiss with the keys. You mean it's out of tune or something? No, oh, no, not that. It's properly tuned, just... Well, if it wasn't, I was gonna say we could go down to the one of the flooded decks and maybe find ourselves a tuna fish. I'm sorry, that was terrible. Go on. <laughs> there, there's, um, there's, a there's an REO Speedwagon album that's, you could tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. That's the name of the album. It's such an amazing uh, title, and it also reminds me of a, a joke in Dragon Ball Z, where, um, you had uh, Chao Tzu, Tien, Yamcha, and Piccolo, and they're on King Kai's planet, and he won't train them unless they um, unless they make him laugh. And uh, Chao Tzu and Yamcha got off pretty quick with a joke, which they didn't show in the show, and uh, Chao Tzu whispers a joke in Tien's ear, and so then he actually starts powering up, which I thought was kind of funny within itself to power up for a joke. Mm -hmm. um, he says, you can tune a piano, and King Kai's like, huh? You could tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> <laughs> and then King, Kai, then um, King Kai's like, "Wow!" Like it's like the whole like motion thing. Like he just got kind of blown away. Like, "Wow!" And then he's like, "That's that's not funny." <laughs> and then he starts cracking up. Come comedy, ha ha ha! Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Came to me in a flash of inspiration. <laughs> All right, so we'll finish up this uh, little dialogue here, and okay. then uh, the C key doesn't yield a C, but rather a different note entirely. Same goes for the D keys; they play some other note. Huh? Why do you think it's like that? Isn't it painfully obvious, Junpei? Zero modified it in some way. This piano, you see, which I can't. It's part of one of the puzzles Zero has set for us. Perhaps if we play the keys in the correct order, something will happen. In other words, we need to play a song on the piano. I believe so. Hmm. Okay, so I'd say that's a good stopping point for this episode. Yeah. We'll wrap it up, try to solve some more puzzles, and we'll see you next time with that. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. It sounded like a goat just now. Bah. <laughs> I'm Goat Jackson. Bob. <laughs> I was in an episode of Drake and Josh. Uh, they got a sheep, and you named it Bob. No, no, no. It's a sheep. It's Bob. <laughs>